What up, y'all? You see it. Batted up customs. Bankroll town. Here's what we got going on. Got the MC. Arrow coop. Cutting these damn tubs out. Mini tub it. Notch it. Narrow it. Tuck it. Coil overs. That's what we working on. Try to get this one done. A couple days. Got the Mexican out there. Andy. He cool. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways. Getting the tubs. Cut out. Trying to, you know, make sure we don't fuck up his interior. Got some welding blankets or uh, moving blankets. About to get all this cut out. You know how we do. You can see the marks. Go ahead and uh, screenshot the markings of where to cut it out. Very clean car. I'm impressed. Very clean. You guys look at this car from the outside and you would think, oh, it's shitty. A lot of you guys buy nice looking cars that are rusty as shit underneath and then you want to build those cars. Why? If the car is rusty, don't build that shit. Find you one that is not rusty and build that. Quit building bullshit. So yeah. The Aero Coupe SS. Got a little small block in it. As you can see, it's got lifted spindles on the front, but not for me to mess with right now. Just the back. Haven't touched it yet. The white Caprice, it's going on different wheels. And you guys out there really need to stop painting stock drums and stock calipers. I mean, red, uh, no. Yellow, no. Paint that shit black. You want it to look good, if you're riding drums and discs, uh, stock, just paint it black. Nice satin black, uh, semi-gloss black. That red shit is horrible. Still got the Tio Rigo up on the lift. Got the control arms all switched out on the back. Uh, got the trick chassis all in there. Getting ready to put the cross brace in. So that's getting done. This front frame on this side from the previous notch. I went in here and notched it out a little more where I here the problem area is going to be so of course when i fit this back together i'll get it tighter and then i'll put a piece of plate in here and weld it all in so i'll push this in some more put a little tag at the bottom push the top in lay this in a little better cut the groove open a little more so the weld will lay right in there um but it'll basically flow clean this out some more somebody else's work but it, it should it should work so that's where we're at on the TO one. I got all the brand new suspension waiting to go on it. The tie rods and everything they just we just put up out of the way. Um let's see. Whoop whoop, it's back up there. Whoop. Can't show you that. As you know, Viking. Best way to go. Hotchkins. Hotchkiss, Hotchkins, Harvey. Oh. How you say it? Tie rod sleeves right there. You got your inner and outer tie rods going there. They look all nice and pretty. Easy adjustment. The right way to go. Instead of having these. Let's see where they're at. My specialty drawer. I only kept these because they were new. Off of somebody's shit. But look at this compared to that. Why would you want this shit on your car? Garbage. Why'd I save it? I don't know. Maybe I'll make something out of them later. Got a whole bunch of specialty shit in there. Fittings, all kinds of shit. Always good to have a drawer like that. When you're custom fitting everything. So yeah, Aero Coop. Bad Dog Customs. Box Chevys and all kinds of good shit. 
and that's all i got for today y'all let up customs subscribe share watch please watch i'm short minutes if i can get these minutes up make a couple dollars if i can make a couple dollars i can give work a lot cheaper so better up custom bankroll town peace out